Greetings folks, here we have the Lightning 1500 from Top RC and Banggood. This is a warm liner glider uh, and if we can just read some of the specs on the box here it might explain what the idea is. Uh, they wanted to set out with the basic criteria of 1.5 metre wingspan using a 3 cell 2200 or 2250 milliamp hour pack. Get the model easily in your car and we wanted it to perform. Although we call the Lightning a glider, it's far more, blah, 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 sleek, elegant lines. Enable this model to perform precision aerobatics like an F3A model, but also soar in the warm air thermals or a 30 mile, or a 30 mile per hour wind on the slope and reward you with a big smile every time you fly. All right, so that sounds pretty good. Designed by Mark Tilbury of Century UK. I don't know who Mark is. This model's been around for quite a while, a few years. Uh, and from what I've seen on uh, Arctic RC's review of it, it looks pretty fantastic. Uh, so let's have a look at some of the specs, if I can read them upside down. It's a 2415-1150 kV brushless motor, 40 amp ESC, three 9 gram analog servos, one digital middle gear servo, uh, designed for 3S2250, wingspan 1500, length uh, 1020 millimetres, weight including battery 1045, so just over a kilogram, 10 by 6 folding prop, and a 40 millimetre uh, spinner. I've never flown a warm liner before, so this will be interesting. Alright, let's just open it up and check out what it looks like. So it is very nicely packed. Look at that amount of foam packing air space so that if the box gets crushed it's not going to damage anything. That looks quite impressive. The foam is even double sided taped to the box too. So we have a very stiff solid square spar and a thinner square tube, that'll be for the all-flying elevator, I guess. Here come the wings, very slim, very stiff. Wow, these are interesting. Instruction manual there. Got a wire lead and some wing mounting bolts, I guess they are there. That'll be two halves of the elevator. And that is good foam, don't throw that away. Can now pull the fuselage out. I think that's all there is. That is so well packed. Look at that. All that foam. All that excellent foam which I will use. Check that I haven't lost anything in there. First impressions, that foam is super hard, dense. So we've got the ESC sitting down there with uh, ventilation holes there to get uh, plenty of cooling. Really nice looking spinner and prop. Got a Dean's plug there. And I have a Dean's to XT60 adapter, so that's no drama. Rudder and elevator servos in there. Nicely mounted with adjusters and everything. We've got a square, big square spar starting there and going back I guess. Yep, yeah, nice and stiff. Uh, we've got an internal uh, rudder control horn set up there. Sort of like a little axle going internally I guess. So it'll be very nice and slick, aerodynamic. Carbon fibre spars along either side of the fuselage going back to there. And plastic sort of mount points, plastic bracket mount point there. That'll be a sort of a buried nut. It's very cool, that looks great. Looks pretty high quality. And the wing, super slick, super thin. Oh, so stiff too. So this will be a high speed demon, I think. Uh, aileron servos are nicely covered there, so it's all very aerodynamically designed, I would say. Look at the slim airfoil there. 
So I'd say we'll have to keep the speed up when we're flying this to prevent any tip stalls or anything nasty like that. And the other wing CG marks there. There's two of them. I'll have to work out. Maybe it's in between, maybe it's the front or the back, or maybe that's the range. We've got a landing skid on the edge of the uh, wing there. Wing tip's a little bit flexy, but it is so stiff and dense. Aileron servo leads there. I guess we just solid spar, solid square spar. That's uh, pretty impressive. And then we've got slots for the servo wires to go down in there. And the wings join together through the plastic mounting points. So it's going to be extremely quick assembly. Nothing to do other than bolt things on, I would imagine. All flying elevator. through there, both sides, and I guess we tighten up the little clamps underneath. Yeah, so that's not going any further, so I say we've got to undo those uh, screws there, let off the pressure, push it in and then tighten them up again. I have a X6R receiver, six channel receiver with telemetry, so I'll be able to check on current draw and uh, speed. This receiver will sit in underneath there. So let's take the wings off. Aileron Y lead into one. I may change that for individual channels eventually. Start with a 3S 2200. See if we can achieve the uh, CG. canopy there. So now work out the throws. Looks like it's set up perfectly for trim and everything straight out of the box. Brake has already been set in the factory and it looks like it's pretty well calibrated too so so with the 2200 there, it's balancing right on the front mark, so at about 50 millimetres, which might be a good starting point. You can move the battery back, move it right back there. Then we're about 55 millimetres, so good range of movement. All right, ready to go.